You beat them. Jesus Christ. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Oh boy. Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I. It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. Oh my goodness, I feel so bad for him. Oh my goodness. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. I feel bad because I think that given all the problems, he truly loved his family. And I know that doesn't excuse what he did, but I believe that if he had the chance, he would have tried to do things better. You know, this man has fought in many wars. He probably seen things that are hard to live with. He probably have been through moments that were so traumatizing that he just wanted to forget or avoid. And I doubt that he had anyone to help him process those, those things. So he started getting drunk, an alcoholic. But in the end of the day, I feel like he's a victim as well. Yes, he has done his wife and his daughter harm, but maybe if society were there for him, he wouldn't have gone this far. So I still feel bad for him too. I don't see likely through what he did to his wife. Of course not. I feel like Anna is the one that got the worst ending of all this. She even had a miscarriage, but I also pity him. Because I feel like deep down in his heart, he's not bad. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew. She'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Seen a lot of dead in my time, but that must have been hard. Unspeakably so. My legs gave out. I saw fields of corpses at Sodden. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oak. And the guilt is all mine. We don't know that yet. The amulet and a war could be linked somehow. Maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? Wrapped it in a clean sheet and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher? My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. 
Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob, a guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Oh no. Watch things on the prowl. Oh no. Look. Take it in your arms, quick. And if it goes Garrity, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? Just It'll do it! It'll through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Oh my goodness. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. The merciful gods! Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubberkin. Oh, fuck. It's your child. Let's go. Uh... Hungry specters. Botchling scent attracted them. It's okay. Oh, my mother's crying. Oh, my God. Do something. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing something. I'm getting my butt kicked. Stench. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. Good. Now bury the body. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt... The responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But- No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. I feel so bad for the Baron. 
Geralt is so harsh with him. For good reason, of course, but still. I feel like he's already being harsh with himself, you know? It's complicated. 